uh, I'm not sure morning. Sun Sunday morning here at Little Colorado. Um, last night, Chico discovered these pools that where the water had been higher and it's all settled out. So you can actually like get water that's not full of silt. Um, unlike the stuff that's actually flowing down rather than swimming across the river and getting it from the Colorado, which is what I did yesterday. So we get some water here and then go back and forth with that. Have some hiking to do. Now, going to place new today, so that'll be fun. Had a good morning doing camp chores and whatnot. Uh, it's really, really nice. There's no wind. The temperature is phenomenal. It's not going to stay this way. It's going to get warmer today. I figure it's probably going to get back hot, which will make my afternoon swim even more pleasant. Um, so yeah, we're about to go up to uh, find the Sipa Poo, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it's just going to be amazing. Um, there were three dudes who came in last night, like, right before I crawled into bed, which is still so, so like seven o'clock, it's not that late really. They were hiking with their headlamps though, and um, they came on the salt trail and said it was long and arduous. So we're only going around trip to the Super Poo and back. Um, so it's like eight miles from here, and uh, we're gonna have packs that contain nothing but water and food. So I think it'll be good. Just to find out. There's a pound hole right here. There's a pound hole that we walk past. This is Beamer's cabin, by the way. And so I was positing this theory that maybe like reinforce an existing Anasazi structure. We find this pot shirt right here next to this I don't know, very questionable mono and matate. There's further research. And also this terracing here. And that appears to be fairly well terraced too. So. I thought maybe it's like a beamer thing, but I don't know. Maybe this is farm going to play down the south. Maybe a beamer. Okay, I got some uh, weather station, I guess, here in Little Colorado. Probably more likely measures of flow, like there's. I'm not sure how that thing would measure flow, but I don't know anything about this stuff. Yeah, this is a uh more scientific equipment. That's some description. A really large solar array. Behind me there is the Sipapu. So that is where humanity emerged from the underworld to inhabit this plane of existence. Hope creation of us. Basically like a Hopi version of the Garden of Eden, I guess. You can see all the flooding that happened, I guess, the past couple of days ago. I'm really glad it's not like that right now. Getting here would have been really a pain, but 
was actually a really, really nice hike. A little bushwhacky, but uh, easiest five miles of hiking the canyon in, I don't know, maybe ever. Talking about the peach being full of worm cast. Oh, look at this. This is a rock that is entirely worm cast. That's basically all it is. Okay, we've wandered into the main, I don't know, scientific equipment hub here. And we just went past a sensor in the river. Don't know for what. I mean, I'm wondering if this is like, try to find any species that live in Little Colorado still, which they do, so, but yeah. I've got no idea what all this stuff is for, but there sure is a lot of it. Water from the potholes, or not really potholes, whatever. Little Colorado pools were gross. It was uh, really salty. So that's one of the things they say is it's highly mineralized. So I swam across Little Colorado as I did yesterday to come over to the regular Colorado, which as you can see is green and is higher than yesterday actually, um, to fill up these bags, and I'm swimming back over there. Chico's gonna dump them in the bucket. I'm gonna swim back over, fill them up again, swim back over, dump them in the bucket. I come back over and fill them up for the third and final time, and swim back over. So, but, um, you might be wondering, you know, why did you bring the camera along? Well, I'll show you here in a minute. Look at Marble Canyon. Pretty incredible, huh? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> what a shame. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I beat my spoon cap every day of the week. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I'm trying to do that again. Ugh. Water here. Um, man, the Colorado is a lot colder than Little Colorado. Little Colorado is not warm. It also seems colder than it was yesterday. 
So, I don't know, more dam release, which seems weird because it's like, you know, Sunday. But, I don't know, maybe a big day at church. gathering experience. Um, swing back and forth across isn't that bad except for the fact that I can't like see the rocks underneath the water and so when I kick them it hurts. <laughs> um, and then of course I dropped um, one of the Seenock bags and uh, that could have been really shitty but uh, managed to like fish it around and find it before it floated off down the Colorado and got lodged somewhere in Lake Mead. So on the whole I guess it went pretty well. We've got a whole bunch of water that doesn't completely taste like salt um, and I got reasonably clean I guess I didn't go like you know wash my face or my hair in the Colorado because it was really cold and I'm actually pretty cold right now just from you know spending half an hour swimming back and forth across the little Colorado so I'm gonna rub myself with uh, with some scotch here and uh, some couscous so on the whole been a really good day Thank you.